I can't remember anyone I've ever seen at a public pool with such a memorable body, good or bad, that I think about it ever again. I've never been enamored by an attractive person in a bar or at an airport enough for them to grab my attention more than just the once. I've never thought, I wonder if that woman's jeans are a bigger size. Ready with me to go out to dinner. I was literally so excited to make this get ready with me because look at confidential package, it's gone. Glow Recipe just released their new toner. I'm actually so excited and I already took a sneak peek. I kind of match. This is Glow Recipe's newest and second launch of a toner. Oh my gosh, it smells so good and the texture is literally like hydration. Like that's all I can say. Everybody knows and loves this Glow Recipe toner, but I don't know guys, this is a close tie. I don't know. My skin definitely immediately feels hydrated, but I want to put a little bit more just because it just feels so good. Like I just want to apply it and apply it. Compared to the other toner, this one is definitely more like liquidy than thick, which I really like. Mostly just because it's more hydrating and I love that. I also tried this out the other day and this on top of this toner is amazing. I think that's my new favorite combination. I feel like when you have good skin prep, then you barely have to put any makeup on because your skin just looks so good that there's nothing to cover up. <laughs> this concealer blends amazing, especially with my amazing skin prep underneath. I'm going to downtown Laguna with a couple of my friends, so that's really exciting. And we're most likely going to take Instagram pictures, because every single time we're together, we take Instagram pictures. Put on some of my Refry eyebrow gel. Wow, I literally couldn't speak for that. Hey, I'm just going to pop on some mascara. This is literally my perfect makeup, no makeup. Look. It's so easy and effortless, especially when you have a good skin base. And remember, you can shop the Cloudberry Bright Essence Toner at Sephora. I love it so much. Bye, guys. With me while I tell you my ins and outs of 2024. In Mackie. My first in is skincare over makeup. I feel like when you have a good like skincare base, then the rest of your makeup just goes on better and cleaner. Another in is dressing up even though there is no occasion. Like me and my friends love to get dressed up to literally do nothing. And it's so fun. Next is concerts. I love concerts so much and I love spending money when it's on an experience and not on something tangible. I know, weird coming from me, but I love concerts. You probably won't believe me on this one, but using less heat on my hair and learning how to, like, style my natural hair. Extremely rare for me to wear my hair naturally, but I really want to learn how to style it. Your in is having a consistent prayer routine. And definitely praying when you don't want to, because especially this year, I learned that anybody can pray when they're motivated. Not everybody can pray when they're unmotivated. Now moving on to the outs of 2024. Outfit repeating. I thinks it's a toxic trait, but honestly, that's fashion, like. Your out is Snapchat. People's main form of communication is Snapchat, like, eh -eh. Like my brother. I think my room gets so crazily messy that I cannot clean it. Another out is not confronting somebody when you have a problem with them. Oh, peeing on the floor. An out is under-accessorizing, always over-accessorize. An out is changing yourself to fit in or trying to be like somebody else. Be yourself, find yourself. Real. An in is lip gloss over lipstick. Lipstick has never been in, but lip gloss. An in is living with your best friend. Yeah, this is our official announcement. Tess is moving in for a couple months. Woo. Okay, have an amazing 2024. I love you guys so much. Stay with me for a wedding while I tell you how to go viral on TikTok. I'm in Florida right now for my cousin's wedding, and I have like 15 minutes. I get comments every single day asking how to start a Get Ready With Me account or just start posting on TikTok. I feel like the first thing you have to do when you realize that you want to start posting consistently is to find your genre, like your niche. Once you figure out what your niche is and what you want to start posting about, pick a catchy name. You don't want it to be like cupcake love xoxo dot dot, like no. No one's going to remember that, so keep it short and simple like your name and like a niche that you want to go with, like Lisi.shops. After you get there, now it's time to start filming videos. A good rule of thumb is to always have good lighting and a clean background because that'll make people want to watch it longer. If you're making Get Ready With Me's, make sure not to say, um, or like wait a long time before saying something. Because people can swipe away in literally a second. Also make sure to find some sort of trademark that they can remember you by, like something different that you do that everybody else. Mine was like my t typewriter writing thing at the beginning that I usually do on my vlogs. After you get all those things done, try to post at least one time a day. I try to post one to three times a day, no more than four because you could get shadow banned, and make sure to not skip a day of posting. For a caption, make it clean, simple, easy, and add a lot of hashtags. Hashtags that have to do with your videos, such as haul, hashtag hauls, haul account, get ready with me, that type of thing. I got mascara on my eyelid. My brother's here. Also remember to always be nice to everybody. 
Try not to see other influencers as somebody that's against you. More than one of your friends, because I've honestly met so many people from this platform that are now one of my closest friends. Also, going back to the hashtags part, putting hashtag for you page hashtag viral is not going to help you. And also, commenting on other people's videos, would you watch my get ready with me, also is not going to get you followers. And try to remember why you're doing this. You're doing it because it's fun, not because you want to be famous or you want money. It won't get you anywhere. Because all that stuff happens after, like, years of posting. Anyway, I wish you guys luck. Tag me in your Get Ready With Me's and hauls. I love you guys. Hey, y'all. Get ready with me to go on a run. It's been a couple weeks since I've gone on a run, so let's get ready. First, I'm going to open up my Olipop. That's what I like to hear. Good, guys. It's good. I think I'm gonna start off with airy crossover leggings, Sonic pink sports bra, and a long sleeve because it's cold. Okay, I got my fit on. I'm wearing this sparkly Lulu long sleeve. I took off my rings. I'm either gonna wear my New Balances or my Hoka's. I think my New Balances go better with this outfit. Since we're going with a blue theme, I'm gonna wear these like blue, purple, blue lemon socks. If anybody knows any running sock brands, like have fun and colorful ones, definitely let me know. Okay, let's go. Got my AirPods. I'm just gonna go around my neighborhood a little bit. I'm gonna start my Strava. Ow. One mile. About a mile and a half. And we stopped at the little park. A little breaky poo. Ah! Ow. Oh, that actually hurt my hip. Here's your sign to go on a run because it'll make you feel better. Two miles. <laughs> It's freezing out here. I can only do two miles today, but that's good. I'm gonna go chug some water and my Olipop. These are healthy sodas, so I love to have these after runs. Mackie's area is crazy. Anyway, thanks for coming on a run with me. And make sure to get your Olipop at Target. Bye, guys. Hey, guys, welcome to A Day in My Life in Orlando, Florida. Today we're planning on going to Epcot, so that's really exciting. This is my first time ever in Florida, so we wanted to do a lot of things. We came here for my cousin's wedding and it was so beautiful, it was last night. But now we have a full day before I leave tomorrow. Which I honestly don't really want to think about because then school starts and it literally makes me just want to cry. So I threw on this fit. I also, I thrifted that vest. I am so proud of myself. It was from the Rose Bowl flea market. Literally one of my best thrift finds ever. I love it. I picked my trick socks, so cute. And started my day with a Celsius because as per usual. I got pancakes, which is my all time favorite. These ones were so good. And then we headed to Epcot. Right, there was actually not as many people as I thought because I knew that they were gonna have the Disney marathon this morning. But I think those people kind of cleared out because we came at like 1 p.m. We of course had to start at this shop. There was so much cute merch. I decided to get the 20 24 Disney ears. They were so cute. If you guys know me, you know Monsters, Inc. is my favorite Disney movie. We found these little water bottles that screamed. They were so cool. We, of course, had to look at all the pins. I am obsessed with pins, thanks to Elizabeth. Ugh. Say hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Elizabeth. <laughs> I got a couple pins for Tess and Elizabeth and a few for myself, of course. That's so dadhood when he literally stands outside the store. I thought it was so funny. We started in France because we wanted to look at all the different countries. It was so fun. Also, I really want this Miss Dior perfume. I love how in every single different country, it's like a different Disney movie. This one was like macaroon and ratatouille themed. I got ice cream, but my dad got this really cool ice cream thing on a brioche bun. It looked really good, although it kind of made me nauseous looking at it, but it's sandwich, good. Is it ice cream? What is it? That was his little review. I got mango ice cream because it was literally a bajillion degrees outside. This is my uncle trying to be a tour guide. I thought he thought he was hilarious. I don't even know. Then we headed over to the next country and they had henna, so I decided to get this elephant henna on my hand. I've never gotten henna before and I absolutely love it. I legit want to like figure out how to do that myself because it was so cool. And then at the next country, they had this guy that was like doing like this like thing. I don't even know, but it was really entertaining for some reason. We kept on walking. It was really fun. I really wanted to get this Monsters, Inc. I really wanted to get this. And then I met uh, some super cute girls. <laughs> say, say hi. They were literally the cutest people ever. I love them and I miss them already. The amount of self-control that it took me not to get all these toys was insane. They also had so many cute little stickers and erasers and I was literally obsessed. I also really wanted to get this dragon plushie that looked like dragon fruit. Then we went to Norway, which if you guys didn't know, I'm actually Norwegian. So my dad was like, oh my gosh. Had a bunch of frozen stuff. So I decided Hi. to get a frozen blind bag Thank you. that had two pins in it. And then I decided to open it right away because I could not wait. I got Kristoff and then I also got Elsa, which they're super duper cute and they're limited edition. So I was so excited to add it to my pink collection. Then
then the sun started to set and of I course, always end up shopping everywhere I go you, I, that is so real I literally go okay, shopping all the time I picked up some more things for my friends and we and headed out say hi. <laughs> guys please come up to me when you see me because I literally love meeting you guys so much also this monorail went above us I saw Bluey and Bingo in this car and I literally wanted to go kidnap them they're so cute and then and then I went back upstairs to do my nightly cool down I started off with my bible it was really good loved it and then I went on to do my Jessica's journals which I've been really on a really good Jessica's journals grind also if you guys want to shop any of their products it's in my bio i filled it out it's so amazing and then i went to sleep bye guys hey guys welcome to a travel with me to florida vlog we're going to florida for my cousin's wedding i got up around 6 a.m to go to the airport i also barely packed so i had a lot to do this morning i got home late last night because of reagan's birthday party so i was very tired and in much need of a celsius got the classic orange celsius i was actually very excited to go to florida i've actually never been Mackie came and hung out with me this morning. He was being so cute. I always feel bad leaving him because I think he knows when we're about to go traveling. And we never take him because he's too big. So sorry, Mackie, for body shaming you, but you're too big. He kind of knows when the suitcases come out that we're leaving and he gets, like, kind of anxious. Anyway, we have a lot of fun things planned when we go to Florida also, so stay tuned for another vlog. Anyway, I finished my hair and then packed up all my makeup. This is me showing off my nails. I got my nails done yesterday and I thought they were so cute. They're white with a little pink star, which I feel like it's just so me. Finished packing up my suitcase. Also, my sack drawer was so filled that my mom put it in this massive basket, which I thought was really funny. I took Mackie on a little walk before I had to close up my suitcase. And of course, packed all my babies into my carry-on. And my Bible and my journal and all that, and I was ready to go. I also could not forget Snakey. Me and my mom took an Uber to the airport. My brother and my dad are in Denver, getting Aiden settled back in for college for the next semester but they're gonna meet us in Florida. I actually love flying on airplanes, it's kind of like fun. I of course had to get my Diet Coke and then they gave me this little like snack bag. My mom got like this big old meal, but I might've been allergic, so. I got this really cute ice cream and oh my gosh, literally one of the best ice creams I've ever had. Legit met the sweetest girls. They were the cutest ever. My mom got the car and I did some journaling. My highlight of the day was definitely meeting all those three girls. They were so cute. We met up with my brother and dad and headed to the hotel. We were starving, but it was like 10.30 at night. So we went to this little pizza restaurant. Honestly, not that good, but we were hungry. And we watched a movie and went to sleep. Good night, guys. Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to a day in my life vlog. I woke up around 6.30. Tess was still sleeping, so I decided to take a shower. We were first planning on going golfing, but the plans ended up changing. But that's okay, I ended up changing my shirt because I didn't like how this one looked, but I love the little monochromatic, like, blue on blue. Then I attempted to wake up Tess. She was not very happy, but I got her up. And then Brinkley and Kennedy were asleep in the other room, and I had to wake them up, too. This was, you know, a little wake-up fest. You know, me being a little misproductive, I grabbed a Celsius and got ready while everybody is, like, barely getting out of bed, so go me. This is my last day before wash day, so of course I layered on all the products. Heat protectant, dry shampoo, the whole shebang. I did my hair and then people started to wake up, so that was nice. We had a pretty busy day. We had a couple different things that we had to do and then we had my friend's birthday party tonight, so that's a little preview. I feel like I mastered my everyday makeup look, so I was really happy. Also, I was really stressed out because this is the day before I have to go to Florida and I literally have not packed anything and I had like a super busy day. That's Tess during her iconic yame. It was so funny. Kennedy decided to give a fit check. We were very hungry, so we decided to go get donuts because what else are we supposed to do? It's kind of a tradition now, anytime Brinkley and Kennedy come and sleep over. We jammed out to NoahCon in the car as usual. Me and Tess have been planning on going to the NoahCon concert in June for some time now, and we just found out that Kennedy is also going. Love that for you, Tess. She really enjoyed her donuts, and I got donut holes. Oh my gosh, amazing. Except one fell on her shoe, and she was sad. I forgot to film, but we went and got our nails done, and then Tess had a telemedicine appointment, so I was at her house alone. She asked me to make her coffee while she was there, so this is my attempt. She actually ended up hating it, and then I heard her scream from the other room, Lacey, it's cold! And I was like, oh. But look at how happy and proud I was of myself. And then on the way to get Chipotle, we played the Mario Kart music, and Tess was pretending like she was one of the characters. It was so funny. We picked up Steve, and then we went to Chipotle. It was so good to catch up. Leilani killed my arm! That was Tess complaining about how the spin class made her arms hurt. We stopped by my house to pick up a bunch of clothes because we were getting ready at Tess's house, but we were in such a hurry. It was Reagan's birthday party, and it was so much fun. We took such cute pictures, so happy birthday, Reagan. I love you guys. Bye. Good morning. It's 2024. 2024. The plot. YOLO. We're at Tess's house today. Let's go get a What a shocker, man. 
What a shocker. At least he's at my house, question mark. I already know what flavor you want. I already know. First Celsius of the new year. Orange Celsius. Fantasy vibe. Cheers. That was good. Yummy. Your baby. Lucy got me this baby yesterday. <gasps> Look at what a fat boy. Hi, half a lump. Hi, Weezy. Tess went to go say hi to the puppy. <laughs> hi, puppy. Oh my god. Hi, baby. Oh, Ollie. Hi. Say hi. Say hi. My name's Ollie. Ollie's my baby. Oh. Tessie's learning TikTok dance. I just grabbed all my stuff and, of course, my bluey book I bought yesterday. I'm gonna steal her slippers. Oh, it's so pretty out. Hey, that's oh, she's running. Oh. Good morning, Barry. We always end up here. You can never go wrong with them. We just need a little refresh before we down some donuts. Yes. Guys, this, look at our fits. Tess, you're parking. Yay, Tess, good parking. Pack up your car, put a hand in your heart, say whatever you feel, be wherever you are. We ain't a bird, still sing, your folks still fight. 10 out of 10 parkers. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh if you've ever been to a fat farm. <laughs> we got a lot of donuts. My mom wanted us to get donuts for her too. She's a donut girl. Guys, look at how beautiful this is. We got donut holes, a bunch of maples, and sprinkle stuff. Oh, very good. All glory to the God of resurrection. Keep from death into life. Death into life by Damascus. Best song ever. <laughs> We're headed to our house now. The twins are back home. Hi, Olaf. Happy New Year. Oh. You're mad. Hi, Maggie. Good morning. Just a little trot. Okay, we just changed. This is my outfit of choice. Let's see the fit. Ooh, pose. Ooh. Let's go pick out some fun socks. This is becoming a problem. I feel like I should wear my pink Mackie socks today. Okay, this hair is not the vibe right now, so it needs some fixing. Okay, let me do this hair, and then I'll tell you all the stuff that we're going to do today. I done with the hair. Look at Twessie's cute little outfit. I changed. Okay, let's do something with the face. Okay, so the agenda for the day is we're going to go pick up Tess's cousin Callum and we're going to go shopping. He's here from Florida and he really wants us to style him. So I think that'll be really funny. Today's January 1st, which means yesterday was New Year's. So today's New Year's Day and yesterday was New Year's Eve. Hi guys. Oh. Well, we went to bed around 1 a.m. last night, which I feel like is pretty good for New Year's Eve. Before we go to the mall, we are going to stop by Goodwill because we have stuff to drop off. Because we've been decluttering our closets and putting away old Christmas stuff. What do you guys do for New Year's? Do I have a gun? I know I don't normally, but... Yeah, you do. We're listening to Tay McRae. Oh my gosh, I really want to go to her concert again. I want to make a 2024 bucket list. Let me know if you guys have any ideas. Definitely want to go see a lot of concerts and travel a lot. Okay, highlighter, and then we're going to head out. Okay, my makeup's all done. So is my hair. Queen stuff. Cheese. I'll see this number two. Uh-oh. I started putting these little plastic inserts in them to, like, keep the shape. And I think they look really good. Okay, I'm gonna wear my Love Shack perfume. Okay, let's go to Twissy's house so she can get ready. We are bringing these two really big bags to Goodwill. Progress for my hoarding problem. Bye, Maggie, my little guard puppy. Hi, guys. She's going to drop her donations off. Look at me, donation girl. POV, I'm a princess. POV, we're in a park. POV, we're gonna go take pictures. Okay, we just got some pictures. We went to Tess's middle school to film TikToks. Like, love that for us. How iconic. I'm in bed now. That's the end of my morning vlog. Happy New Year, guys. Hey, guys. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 22. I'm in New York City. This is day two to my New York City vlogs. I woke up around nine and got ready, you know, did the whole skincare makeup thing. We had a very long day ahead of us, so let's go. I threw on this really cute outfit. My theme for this trip was very pink, as you can tell by my last two Instagram pictures. Doing my makeup in this lighting was definitely really, really hard. It made me look orange, but I swear it actually wasn't. Threw on my gingerbread earrings, and I had to curl a little bit of my hair. I wanted to wear my cute little bow hair clips, so that's why I decided to curl my hair. Threw on my pancake socks, because I was craving pancakes this morning, and this is where it took a turn. So we thought it was all great, and we went to this little cafe, and we saw that they had pancakes, and I ordered it. It's called Soho Diner. I got my latte, which arrived very quickly, and then food didn't arrive for like an hour and 15 minutes, so we literally got up and left. 
So we stopped at Starbucks, got that, and then headed to start shopping. Our first stop was Kendra Scott, but I didn't find anything. Next, I went to Aviator Nation. Oh my gosh, literally best store ever. First of all, it was huge. I could not stop taking videos. I picked up that pink zip up that I've been wanting for a while. I was obsessed with that store. I waited in line for Addicted, but honestly, I didn't really find anything. I think I like their online store better. I went into Lululemon to get some things for my brother and then headed into Aritzia to find a holiday outfit. I found that really cute green skirt. Also, all of these stores are huge. I headed into Nike because me and my dad wanted to get something for my brother for Christmas. And of course, I got stopped by the shoes. I found these purple Nike Jordans. Oh my gosh. Yes, they were in the kids section, but honestly, kids shoes fit me better. I was so excited and I grabbed them. My brother's new favorite store is Abercrombie, so we grabbed him a couple things and then headed into Zara. I found some really cute things, except I literally spent an hour in the kids section choosing out clothes for my little baby cousins. Like, look at that outfit. Oh my gosh, so cute. I did pick up a pair of those leather wide leg pants. Me and my dad were starving, so we went to go get pizza. I got pineapple on pizza and a Red Bull, of course. Wait, listen. Crispy. My dad was very tall well. I love meeting you guys so much. She was literally the cutest. We stopped and dropped off some of our bags and then headed back out because we got a notification that my Stony Clover bag was done. Since I got it customized with patches, they had to do it overnight. So I grabbed that and then next door, of course, was Love Shack Fancy. I was so excited about my bag, guys. I was like freaking out also. I went to Love Shack Fancy again and the same workers were there and they were the sweetest people ever. They said that they were gonna wrap it extra special just for me and added extra long ribbon so I could put it in my hair. Then we took a cab down to like Rockefeller Center area because we wanted to see the Rockettes show, like the Christmas Spectacular. Oh my gosh, guys, best decision I've ever made in the history of my life. It was beautiful. We literally bought tickets there and we got really good tickets. We were so close, we got a bucket of popcorn and it was magical to say the least. I could watch that a hundred times over again. They were as amazing as they sound. The music, the dancing, everything. It really was spectacular and I think that this is gonna be our new tradition. Also, look at how many people. It was terrifying. But like, I also loved it at the same exact time. You know what I'm saying? There was somebody selling churros in the street and I was like, um, absolutely, give me one please. So we oh bought God, one, she was amazing. so sweet. And then we stopped at this really beautiful cathedral. There were so many people in there and I loved it. Then we went to Grand Central Station, which was absolutely amazing. I literally felt like I was in a movie. This looks like where Paddington was filmed. Do you guys, do you guys know what I'm saying? Anyway, then we took the subway back to our hotel, but of course I had to stop at a store. Like guys, like this is hard. This was the first time I saw Glossier store without a line. So I hopped in there. I really wanted to get their new collab with Starfaced. I love Starface, and I also picked up a new highlighter. I got a bunch of cute Instagram pictures because they had such cute little room. Apparently my name's Lisa now, so that's fantastic. It was honestly so cute. And then we went to Chipotle, because how else are you supposed to end the night? We headed back to the hotel because we needed a pack because we're leaving very early tomorrow. We watched The Grinch, and anyway, I'm gonna go take a shower and go to sleep. I love you guys. Mwah. Hey y'all, good morning. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 23. I cannot believe we only have two days left of Vlogmas. I was leaving New York today, so I was kind of sad, but it was literally like the best trip ever. I'm gonna remember it actually forever. We had to get up at six in the morning because we had a very early flight, which was 3 a.m. my time, so I was exhausted. I did some skincare, some light makeup, and packed up my toiletries bag, but of course I had to curl my hair. Does anybody else feel like they have to like look good at the airport? Like I can't go to the airport looking like a complete slob. I don't know, I just feel like I feel so bougie traveling. Anyway, I grabbed Snakey and got all bundled up because it was absolutely freezing. And then we took an Uber to the airport. My dad brought me a Celsius because he knew that I would need one. Dad, also, this is so girl dad of him. He was carrying around my curling iron because it didn't cool yet. And then he put it in a suitcase. I just thought that was so funny. Anyway, we headed onto the airplane. It was a five hour flight, but I literally leaned my seat all the way back. And it was very nice. She brought me some pretzel bread, some grapes and cheese. It was very nice, but I was still hungry. So I had some pretzels when we landed. My dad got all of our bags and then we headed in an Uber. I was so excited to see Mackie when I came home. I missed him so much. Every single day I asked my mom for pictures of him because I missed him so much. He's just so cute. I was starving, so I had some Jersey Mike's. Oh my gosh, best sandwich is the number 11 at Avocado. I did some quick unpacking and then I had to get straight in the shower. This was a very busy day for me. I was exhausted, but we had a Christmas party to go to. So I took an everything shower and I was ready.
I don't remember the last time I blue dried my hair. Blow dried, blue dried, I don't even know. Can we talk about how funny and poofy my hair was in that last clip? Anyway, I got ready. I did my hair, did my makeup. And of course I had my second Celsius because I really needed it. We have these four families that we've been very close to since I was born, basically. And we get together every Thanksgiving and every Christmas and sometimes like some other random holidays. We used to all live in the same neighborhood. Now we all still live close to each other, but not in the same neighborhood. So that was the party I was going to today. They are literally like my family. They're like my cousins. Anyway, I wore this really cute outfit. My top is from Nordstrom Rack. My skirt is Love Shack Fancy. And Bella got me that really cute headband. My flats are from Gap. And then we headed out. I had to leave early and go with Aiden because we needed to pick up food at this restaurant before we came there. Anyway, when we arrived, we had so much fun. They made us these little mocktails. It was like apple cider with candy. It was so good. Anyway, they had dinner. It was absolutely amazing. We had little place settings and it was just so fun. I didn't get a video, but after dinner, we made up a dance and it was so funny. We did it till we're all in this together from High School Musical and then Quincy was very tired. Then we played this unwrapping game where you have to try to unwrap like a bunch of boxes and boxes with all this stuff on it until the next person rolls doubles with dice. It got very heated, but actually I won and I got $100, which was in the middle. So I was so excited, but it was good getting very intense like it was like crazy. anyway then i said bye which was really sad but i love them so much i headed home and i was so tired since i've been up since three in the morning my time so good night guys good morning merry christmas eve it's 8 5 in the morning i have a lot to do so let's get ready pictures and pads and time. i love doing that Let's go get a Christmas Eve Celsius. Morning, Maggie. Dun, dun. This lounge room is looking good. Oh, Snakey's here. Today's energy drink of the day is lemon lime Celsius. It's really crispy. Okay, so this suitcase is full of Christmas presents for everybody. I got a lot of presents to wrap. But let's speed around this and turn some on some Christmas music. <laughs> pretty good i'm watching young sheldon but i worked up an appetite let's go get some honey bunches of oats my room still looks crazy guys we're watching elf she's making potato casserole for tomorrow morning because it's our tradition okay chef okay guys i've just been editing and wrapping this whole time but now i need to get ready because i have to film a haul and we're going to a show with my aunt and cousins we're gonna go watch the musical How the Grinch Stole Christmas, so I'm really excited. I think it's gonna be so funny. But first, let me do my hair. Yay! My hair's all done. Now let's do some makeup. That is such cute wrapping paper. Dad, I did not know you could wrap. She, she asked me yesterday, do you know how to wrap? I'm like, of course I know how to wrap. Well, I don't know if mom did all the wrapping. Guys, look at there's a little, we're having a little workshop over here. Mom's here, dad's there. Wait, wait, let's go get ready. I legit cannot believe that it is Christmas Eve. Like, that's insane. But I, like, could not believe it was even December. But I'm excited. Like, you know when, like, your stomach starts to feel like, oh, my gosh. Like, Tess is coming over while we're gone to watch Mackie. And then we're going to exchange gifts. And I'm so excited. I'm getting ready much earlier because I have my New York haul to film. All my bags right there. I go on a lot of shopping trips with my dad. And I would say this is, like, my best haul yet. I'm genuinely so excited to post my Christmas haul. Watching Christmas hauls is literally like my favorite thing to do ever. I want you guys to tag me in all of your Christmas haul videos. Setting spray. Dry. Okay. I'm gonna go get dressed really quick. Some jeans. I threw on this sweater. Put on some flats. This is my outfit for filming my unboxing. Here's the aftermath of my haul. I think I need to clean up this room now. You guys know the drill cue the music. Hurry, I think it's Christmas Eve. My room doesn't look the best, but it's definitely better. Now, I've been gone in Tahoe, but now I get to open up the rest of my advent calendar. Since I was out of town, I have a lot. 21, 22, 23, 24. I'm so excited. It's literally on my Christmas list. It's a Diet Coke tournament. Serafina Heavenly Sours. I love these. No way. Sino ornament. Hang these up right now. 
my green dino. Of course, my Diet Coke. They all look so cute. To me, Christmas tree. A bunch of packages just arrived, but I'm gonna wait to open them in a PR haul. It's time to get ready. This is my, this is what I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna wear this little green skirt. I feel like that's super Grinch. I, I think this white sweater, I'm not sure yet. Did somebody get his Christmas present early? Becky, what are you doing with that? Did you get an early Christmas present? Okay, I think this is what I'm gonna wear. I still need to take off the tag, but I think it's really cute. Well, I put on my earrings, my bracelet, my bows. I put on some perfume, and I think we're ready to go. Bye, Maggie. Aiden brought us some bagels. Bagel. Okay, we're here. We need to hurry and get to our seats. Look at how cute that is up there. We're at True Food Kitchen right now and we're gonna have dinner. We got a little max of animal. This is extremely pink. We got this beautiful margarita pizza. Oh, yeah. Hey, <laughs> 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 we're both vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> to give Tess my gift. Oh, it's a little picture of us. <laughs> it's a gummy cluster. No way. Guys, pull the rabbit pouch filled with socks. This is the most mean <laughs> gift I've ever. Thank you. You're so good. I forgot. I wanted this. I wanted, how about you open everything and then you give yeah, a haul? Yeah, yeah. Let's just open the gifts that I got her. So go ahead. You're going to do a haul first. Notebook for Jesus. This is Lucy and I in a calendar. Roll around it. A hat because I'm just so swagalicious. Oh. Chugging of Diet Coke. Heatless curlers. This made me cry. My cry. It says my pussy. This won't, the tape won't come off. Literally, I put such an immense amount of tape on all my gifts. But it's way leaving conditioner. The Charlotte Tilbury gold turner because I told her I want to try it out. Dry bar rollers. Oh, she's already using it. Guys, I have so many more socks to add to my collection. I already put on these coffee ones. We have one more gift that we're gonna open. Really the cutest person ever, Piper, made us little bags. I'm so excited. It has little um, dinos on it. Oh, gummy bear earrings. Jelly oh, belly. Oh, I got a bunny too. No way. <laughs> Celine. Oh, they're wigglers. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Oh, it's like a collectible one. It's like a soft one. Okay, y'all. Tess just went home. I have my Christmas roller rabbit pajamas. I'm gonna go take a shower. So thanks so much for watching Vlogmas Day 24. I'm gonna be vlogging tomorrow. So stay tuned. I love you guys so much. Bye. Merry Christmas Eve. Good morning. Merry Christmas. It's five. I'm allowed to open my stocking before anybody's awake, so let's go. Wow. Let's open my stocking. Very cool candy. M&M's. Blue socks. These clips. Mini microphone. These say sun glow drops. Nutella. These socks that say bring me a Diet Coke. Makeup. I'm so excited. This is everything that was in my stocking. This is gonna be here soon to go to Starbucks. So let's grab some socks. It's Christmas morning. It's, it's still dark. <laughs> See, look at us. Merry Christmas. It's literally pitch black outside. Kisses to my exes. At least 6 a.m., guys. Hey, hey, I got a blankie. Barbie. Are you excited? Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank y'all. Yummy. Here you go. I got my hammock Swiss croissant. This is how you start Christmas! The sun's coming up. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
My mom wanted me to preheat the oven and take out the casserole from the fridge. So this year we did the four present things, something you want, something you need, something to read, and something to wear. So my mom put tags on all of our gifts. Mackie, Mackie has a gift. Mackie, you wanna go aside? Look at him. <laughs> Guys, we're starting to open gifts. Mackie got to open the first present. <laughs> That's what he got. Here's my two read. Ah, Jesus calling for teens. I'm gonna open up all my gifts and then I'll post my haul later. Okay, we just finished opening up all of our presents. A little sneak peek. I got a vintage Gucci watch. They don't even sell them anymore. Ah, I'm so excited. I put all the things that I got on here so I can film a haul later. I wanna film a couple TikToks, so let's do the hair. All morning, I've already been watching everybody's Christmas hauls. They're so good. When we were in New York, I had to hide it from you guys. The whole time, me and my dad were trying to find the perfect bag for my mom. Because she's very picky, but we found it. And it's a really cute black Prada bag. I'll show you guys it later. Anyway, my haul should be posted, so go check that out. Let's finish the hair. Yay, I finished my hair. My mom set the table so cutely with little place settings. Wearing our matching PJs. My mom's famous potato casserole. Yummy. Some berries. Okay, we just finished breakfast. Test my watch. Living room's looking quite interesting. I think Mackie loves it. I'm getting it ready now. I want to wear this. New sweater I got, which I think is cute. Also have this green bodysuit. Okay, here's option number one. I think it's cute. I don't know if it completely goes. And then here's the second option. I, I need to wear something tighter on top since this is new for this. This is my third option. I think I'm going to go with this one. Really cute and like all the colors. I think I might need to recurl my hair a little bit, but... It's only 11 right now, so I need this makeup to last all day. I needed an energy drink. Scary slush. Ooh, matches my sweater. Okay, so the plan for the day is we're going to mass at 12.30. Then we're going to go over to my grandma's house around 4 o'clock and open up our presents from, like, my aunts, my cousins, all that. I'm so excited to see my little cousins. Bronzer. Oh, I forgot about my new bronzer. My hair today, I think I want to do two little space buns in the front with pink ribbon. No, what a fool myself. My mascara is mascara. I think I'm going to put some of this green in my inner corner. How did I literally forget blush and highlight? Okay, now I'm going to use my new candy lip glaze. That color is so pretty. Okay, I love my makeup today. Okay, I'm going to attempt to do like a little space bun right here. me a minute but i figured it out and i think they're so cute i'm gonna spray some perfume i'm gonna put my jewelry on in the car but we gotta go pick up Tess. we're all headed out hi twizzy i oh, like I your outfit <gasps> are those your new shoes yeah. cute we're not gonna dance and green. <laughs> ho 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 <laughs> I think dogs should have masks. Honey bunches of oats because I'm hungry. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, guys, we're all heading out. Put all my stuff in my new bag, so let's go to my grandma's house. I hate leaving Mackie. Yeah, we're here. An hour and 20 minutes later. So. Lola. I love your apron. It's my grandma, Lola. Say hi, Lola. Pero puedes hablar en español. Yeah, say, no. so, say something in Spanish. Feliz Navidad. Yeah, that was good. Everybody's finally cleaning up. I got a bunch of really cute things, but I'm going to do another haul later. Brookies, did you like all your presents? Yeah. Yeah? Did you get some good ones? Yeah. What'd you get? Remember. You don't remember? Yeah, that happens. All right, who who's that? Who are you drawing? I'm um, a penguin. A penguin? It's a cute penguin. I like her hair. No, it's not a penguin. It's a beanie. A beanie. Oh, a beanie. A penguin with a beanie. I want some lime cake. So my mom makes the best cake. It's amazing. Not her Yeah, show me your outfit. Look at you. Oh, pose. So cute. Ready? Say it again. My name's Lola. <laughs> Hey y'all, we just got home. I'm so tired, so I'm gonna take a shower and go to sleep. Merry Christmas, everybody. I love you. Hey guys, welcome to a day in my life in Palm Springs. Me and Tess woke up around 9 o'clock and it was so pretty outside. 
Oh, there she is. We were going to go to the driving range, so we both put on cute Lulu outfits. Also, look at how pretty this bathroom is. I felt like Cinderella in this sparkly blue Swiftly. I got it for Christmas for my grandma, and I was like, ugh, so cute. So I got up, did my skincare, did my makeup. We didn't really have time to do our hair, so we just did our makeup really quick and headed down for breakfast. Our brothers were waiting down there for us, so we were going to go meet them. Because since we are apparently golfers, we obviously needed to be fueled. I was showing off my new phone case by Elevated Faith. Oh my gosh, I love it. Anyway, first we headed down for breakfast, and we had to get Celsius's because we were going to crash. They had a huge buffet with waffles, fresh whipped cream, and oh my gosh, my mouth is just watering right now. I am a big breakfast girl, and I was like, it was amazing. We came back up, did our hair because we wanted to take pictures when we went golfing. We went to the driving range. Both me and Tess have not golfed in quite a while, especially me. Um, we were struggling a little bit, but it was really funny. We like felt like pro golfers by the end of it. I was definitely getting a little bit too prideful by the end of that. I was like, I'm a pro. Anyway, we headed into the club to get water, and obviously, look at the shops. They had a huge Lululemon section. We came back to the hotel and got changed because we wanted to go take Instagram pictures and make TikToks. One of the TikToks is already posted. But first, we needed chips, so we debriefed and had a bunch of chips. We looked around in some of the shops, and we looked at this skincare in the spa. It used to be my favorite, so I think I'm definitely going to go get some. Then we went outside to go by these palm trees to take pictures. Like, if you are not getting these angles on your best friend, like... What are you doing? We went and got gelato because there's a gelato place in the hotel, and then we went downtown to go shopping a little bit. We didn't end up buying anything because we were having a full shopping day tomorrow. And then we went to this Italian restaurant called Mama Gina, and both me and Tess had pasta with bread, and it was so good. We came back to the hotel and showered. I was wearing my new Kate Spade PJs that were literally so soft. I did my skincare, brushed my teeth, and good night, guys.